Now, whether you're a saint or sinner, you're invited to dress up and enjoy a meal and some fun at this fundraiser event we're talking about. We welcome back to the show Megan McAdow from the Marshall M. Fredericks Sculpture Museum in Saginaw County to talk about the Saints and Sinners Platinum Gala. Good morning. Good morning. This sounds, uh, I'm intrigued. Give yes. me all the details. What inspired uh, the Sinners and the Saints gathering in one spot? Absolutely. So <laughs> Marshall Fredericks, who we call America's Public Sculptor, uh, created a series of seven sculptures that are various Saints and Sinners uh, themed sculptures. They're about six feet tall. And so we have used um, that sculpture series as our fundraiser for the last 20 years. That's why it's platinum this because it's our 20th year. That's exciting. I mean, talk about celebrating that milestone. Oh, it's, we're so excited. We've got so many new different things planned this year. So every year we um, feature an art auction, both silent and live, but we've got some extra twists this year. Um, we've invited Midland-based band Empty Canvas, and they are going to, um, while entertaining us with live music, also create a live art piece with the audience. Oh, wow. And then that will also be added to the auction. So, very yeah. nice. Very nice. So d just run us through what can people expect there at the gala. Yeah. So it starts at 6 o'clock on September 27th. That's a Friday. And you come in and we start with past hors d'oeuvres and cocktails as you get to look at look and bid on all of the different artworks. We've over 30 artworks. And um, from there, then you get to go into um, dinner with some jazz music over dinner. And then we switch into the live auction. And this year features Bob Dumachel of Dumachel's Auction House in Detroit. Very nice. And then again, reiterate how this fundraiser benefits the museum. Absolutely. So by purchasing tickets, um, that also supports the museum. And then again, if you bid on the artworks, um, all of those funds, they were don the artworks were donated by the artists, so all of those funds go to the museum and we've added a couple more experiences this year. So you can bid on a trip to Tuscany Ooh. and visit the art there and you can also um, bid on a trip to Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Very nice, some interesting options there. So bottom line, why are you so excited for this? We are so happy to be able to bring the community into the museum for a big party. And you may know I like a good party. And so <laughs> we just have a really great time. And um, we have, uh, you know, cocktails and music and dancing. And it's, it's just great. Well, just to clarify, you don't need to dress as your favorite saint or sinner, right? <laughs> no, you don't. We often <laughs> did do themes. But right now we're just asking people to come in, you know, festive attire. And, um, you know, it's nice to get dressed up every once in a while. Of so. course it is. And ha I think the thing with the band sounds very interesting. The, the interactive experience, yeah. it sounds very neat. Uh, the Saints and Sinners Gala will take place, as we mentioned there, at the Marshall and Frederick Sculpture. Museum located on the campus of Saginaw Valley State University. That's happening Friday, September 27th at 6 p.m. You can get your tickets by going to the website marshallfredericks.org slash SSS. Uh, this information also will be clipped with this. There's a number to call on your screen, uh, but we'll put this on our website as well. And it uh, sounds like it will be a lovely time. At least that one looks like she's having a great time oh my in gosh. the photo. <laughs> People have a blast. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thank you.